Hey folks, my thought for the week this week is that working is hard and investing is hard and being broke is hard. And really all there is to do is choose our hard. And it's a brilliant meme on the internet, that type of comment. But actually it's really true. Um, and once I start to deal with the fact that life is intrinsically hard, and I don't mean this is in a, oh, misery is woe is me. I just mean life's hard. Look, shit's going to happen. You can't control it. It doesn't matter whether it's someone dying, someone leaving, COVID, someone stealing money from you, losing a job, getting a cancer diagnosis, having a car accident. At some point, bad shit's going to happen, even though we're good people, right? And it's not because we did anything wrong. It's just because that's the nature of life. And again, I'm not, you know, I'm a ridiculous optimist, um, naive optimist at times. And I'm not saying it to be miserable or, you know, put you down this week and make you feel like shit. The idea of this is that you kind of lifts you up and you think, oh, yeah, but... What happened for me was once I got that actually life's kind of hard anyway and that actually something's going to happen even outside of my control. Most of the things that have happened to me that I found hard, like my brother getting killed in a cycling accident, that was that was pretty rough. And there was nothing I could do about that. It was, it was absolutely outside of my control. What I could control was how I responded. And although I didn't immediately respond by bouncing off the walls, you know, being okay with it, and it took a few months and I, you know, I'd say it's shaped who I am today. How I dealt with it was powerful and it's still, you know, my book's coming out in a couple of months and the forward is to Chris, my brother. And so once we get that life's hard anyway, I kind of figure that, well, let's choose the hard. And people go, oh, investing's so complicated, budgeting's so complicated, money's so complicated. And I'm like, well, it kind of is in the beginning. But once you know how you're doing it, it's really easy. And once you know what you're doing, it's kind of simple. And that's really my thought today, is that the hard's only temporary if you do what you need to do to get done what you need to get done. The hard lasts forever. If you avoid dealing with money, relationships, who you are, your childhood, taking responsibility, adulting, if we avoid that stuff, Life's going to be really freaking hard forever because we'll be constantly picking up the shit that goes on because we've been irresponsible. And I'm a money coach, ultimately, life coach, success coach, property person. Call me what you want. I get called all sorts of things. And for me, it's like, yeah, the money and the investing bit's hard, but only for so long. And I was sat in a day with 15 of my masterminders over the weekend with um, Howard from Harvey Bose. Shout out, Howard, if you're watching this. And I really got how much I know, actually. And there was still some stuff that I didn't know that I was like, oh, game changing moment. What I got was I've spent the years doing the hard. And now the stuff that used to be hard is easy. So now money is relatively easy for me. And it's not always been easy. And I haven't always, I've had to make some hard choices. And I haven't had the nice cars that my peers have had and the nice houses when my peers were having houses and yet now I've got it and it's sustainable. Whereas for a lot of people I grew up with, not grew up with, but, you know, came into school with and stuff, not sustainable, up to their necks in debt, unworkable and going to have to deal with hard money for a lot, lot longer than I've had to deal with it. So what I ask you to think about this week is what's your hard and which one do you want to choose? Do you want to choose hard forever because of avoiding hard? Or do you want to deal with hard head on now? Get it sorted. Get whatever's out. And it's, and it's not just money, right? This is everything. If your relationship's not working, if, you, if you've got friendships that aren't working, if your job isn't working, if your money's not working, whatever it is, deal with the hard now so you don't have to deal with hard long term. And that's really fulfilling. And that's powerful. And do you know what? If your money's the hard bit, sure, come talk to me. Come on a clarity call. I have one this Tuesday evening and one in two weeks and then Money Mastermind's shut and then I kind of go all quiet for about four or five months because I'm coaching lots of people and helping them with their money. But if it's not your money that's hard, whatever it is that's hard for you, 
if you've listened this far to this video and you listen to my thoughts of the week, do something about it. It doesn't have to be with me, but do something. Get whatever's hard sorted. Don't put it off. Don't kick it down the road. Don't avoid it. Don't think I'll sort it next year because it gets worse the less we sort stuff. So working's hard. Investing's hard. Being broke's hard. Choose your hard. I hope you have a fabulous week. I'd love to know what your hard is. If you don't want to put it publicly wherever this video is that you're watching it, send me a DM, get some freedom, commit to changing something and have a fabulous, fabulous week.